Come on, no one's watching. Let's go for a swim. But the gate's locked. The pool's closed. Hey, it doesn't matter. Just jump the fence. Come on. Those guys found out it's not cool to break the rules when it comes to swimming and having fun. Hello, I'm Tim Cedar, kicker for the Dallas Cowboys. You can actually go to jail for doing what they did, but more important, you can lose your life. This summer, be water smart and learn to swim with the Dallas Park and Recreation Department. Summertime means hot swimsuits, cool shades, sizzling tans, and just hanging out with friends by the pool. But even if you're just hanging out by the water, you need to know how to swim. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you why it's cool to follow the rules in the water. Drowning is the second leading cause of accidental death for young people in the United States. And most people who drown never even intended on going into the water. It's important that everyone in your family knows how to swim your brothers and sisters, parents too. But most important, you are responsible for you learning how to swim. Be the Dallas Park and Recreation Department offers American Red Cross swimming lessons at public pools in the Dallas area. We have lessons for all ages from tiny tots and teenagers to adults. We want everyone to learn to swim and have a fun, safe time in the water. Always swim with a buddy. Whether you're in a swimming pool or in a lake, never swim alone. At public pools, lifeguards are always on the lookout for your safety. But if you and your friends are hanging out at an unguarded pool at home or at an apartment complex and you see someone in trouble, don't go after them. They could pull you under and cause you to drown too. Follow the rule. Reach a throw. Don't go. For example, use a pole to reach the person in trouble or throw them something that floats like a volleyball or a life preserver. If you're on a lake and a person has fallen from a boat, reach with a paddle, fishing pole, or throw something that floats, such as a cooler. Almost all people who have drowned would have survived if they'd been wearing a life jacket. It's the law that you carry a U.S. Coast Guard approved personal flotation device for every person aboard a boat. But the time to put it on is before you fall into water. You may think it doesn't look cool, but a life jacket does just that. It saves your life. And you want to make sure you have the right type of life jacket for whatever you're doing in the water. And you want to make sure it fits. The same rules apply to personal watercraft as they do to boats. No one under the age of 16 is allowed to operate them without taking an approved boating safety course and is accompanied by an adult. Let's get some more speed going on here. Right. Boy, baby. Woo! Boating under the influence is just as illegal as driving a vehicle under the influence. Alcohol and drugs don't mix with swimming and boating. Park rangers, game wardens, and other officers work hard to keep you safe at the lake. Did you know that drugs and alcohol are even more dangerous around the water than almost anywhere else? They impair your judgment, your balance, and your coordination. For example, if you swim after drinking alcohol, you could become disoriented, unable to tell up from down, you could swim to the bottom of the lake or the pool and drown. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's happened. And you never know what's under the surface of the lake or river, so don't dive. There may be rocks or stumps under the surface, or it may be extremely shallow. Dive into shallow water and you could break your neck and end up paralyzed or die. Know your swimming limits. Don't try to keep up with a stronger swimmer, and don't encourage others to keep up with you. It's not easy when someone tries to talk you into something, and sometimes it's hard to tell horseplay from real trouble. Most people drown within 10 to 30 feet of safety. It takes less than 60 seconds to disappear under the water. 
And when a person's drowning, they can't call for help. And you may think floaties, inner tubes, and air mattresses are safe, but they could get holes in them and down you go. You can learn about all of these cool rules for the pool by taking swimming lessons at the public pool nearest you. It's all part of the Dallas Park and Recreation Department. You can learn to swim, join a swim team, or even become a lifeguard. Be water smart! American Red Cross Lifeguarding gives teenagers an exciting opportunity to work as a part of a team to help people safely enjoy the water. Lifeguarding helps develop skills for the future by teaching how to deal with people and situations effectively. The partnership between youth lifeguards and the American Red Cross is invaluable to the Dallas community. Lifeguarding classes are held throughout the Dallas area at a pool near you. Together, we can save a life. You being water smart? You being water smart? You being water smart? It's your best bet for having the greatest summer yet. I mean, hey there dudes, if you want to be cool, you, you must obey the pool rules. So don't be dumb and climb the fence because breaking and entering don't make sense. Obey the guard cause they in charge, so come on in and let the party start. You being water smart? You being water smart? You being water smart? You being water smart? Remember, drug and act all oh, just ain't cool. And if you plan going on swimming, then, then use the food. Look out for your buddy, keep them out of trouble, and kick that job and stay alive. Stop bumping your gun and, and let's have fun. You being water smart? You being water smart? You being water smart? You being water smart? If swimming in the river or lake or creek, remember to enter with your feet. Cause if you dive and bump your head, you might enter yourself or come up dead. Boating or canoeing or even rafting, remember to wear your life jacket. You being water smart? 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 The Dallas Park and Recreation Department provides swim lessons and all kinds of open swim time for you and your family. Check the Recreation Center closest to you for schedules. Most important, learn to swim and be alert to what's happening around you. Be water smart, have fun, be safe, and come swim with us.